So now let us work with expanded timelines. So I'm going to bring in a cylindrical timeline right here and I'm going to have one year long, uh, let's say, time scale right here. So this is going to be from, uh, all right, January 1st till the end. All right, so it's going to be 31st December, right? There you go. And I'm going to press OK. So there you go, you can see that it's from uh, 1st of January till end of December right here. So I can go over here, I can control, configure the timeline over here and then choose it again. I'm just, just going to that in the time format, let me just change it out into something else like the uh, expanded form right here. So you can see that you have the timeline right here. So what I can do is I can add in a pin milestone or anything else. I'm going to drag it in, add in a pin milestone right here. I'm going to drag this in, have a pill mine stone over here as well. Let me just change it around just like that. There you go. So let me just drag it around onto the left just like that. All right, there you go. And I can also have in a block interval at between just like that. Press OK. And I'm just going to resize this out so that it only has that part just like that as well. So you can see that this is the timeline that I have just, just like that. So now what I want to do is I want to add something called expanded timeline right here. So let me just click and drag it on the right. So in order to add an expanded timeline, I'm just going to drag in this expanded timeline, keep it over here. And now you can see that I can select the dates. So you can see that I'm going to select this part right here. So I'm going to select from 4, 1, right, 2020. So let me just go over here. This is 4th of April right here. So it's 1st of April right here. So I'm just going to uh, go over here a bit back and select uh, from this date right here. And it's 520, 2020. So let me just go over here. 2020, 520. I'm going to select uh, something like 31st and press Okay, there you go. And now you can see that you have an expanded version of the same timeline with the milestones already in. So if you want to add in some extra milestones over here, so let's say for example, I'm going to add in a diamond milestone right here, press enter, you can see that the detail actually does not uh, see, no, does not appear over here. So you can add in more detail to the expanded timeline right here. And if you want an expanded, expanded timeline, you can do that as well by uh, dragging in the timeline, so expand the timeline right over here. So let's say I want to um, expand the timeline form from 4, 18, 2012, 20. Let's say not 18, I'm going to expand it into 22 right here, into just a few days right here. Let's say, from example, till 24th, and I'm going to press OK. And you can see that that part, that timeline is expanded as well. You can also go over here, add an expanded timeline to the end of the year. Right here, for example, I'm going to add in 12, 12, 2020 to 14, 12, 2020, just like that. Right? So, I mean, like 14, 14, 12, 14. Right? So, configure intervals right here. So, it's. Let me just delete this out. Consider out. And drag it another one, all right? So 12, 14, 12, 12, 20, 20 to 12, 14, 20, 20. All right, two days expansion, press OK. You can see that it expands this part of the timeline and there you go, you got the detail. So you can have as many expanded timelines as you want. So that is how you work, uh, uh, that you work with expanded timeline inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.